Hello Libra, welcome to your November reading. I hope y'all are doing well. So this will be for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Libra. If this one resonates, the link to the extended reading is below. We'll dive into your person a little bit deeper. If you're completely single, it'll really focus on the next person coming into your life. All right, if it doesn't hit home, make sure you check out your moon or your rising sign, even your Mars sign, Libra. All right, let's check it out. You're going to want to hang out to the end of the reading. I'm going to talk about the November giveaway. And here's a little hint. It'll be good for the holidays. So we'll talk about that at the very end. All right, Libra, let's see what November looks like. All right, what happened in your recent past? What do we got? Page of Swords in reverse. There's your air energy. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. If you're new here, welcome. The way I like to do my readings is I like to lay out all the cards and then we'll go through them and we'll clarify and it starts to kind of just read like a story. What's going on right now? What's your present energy? The three of cups. What's on? So the person you're connecting with, thinking about, will be coming into your life. What's going through their thoughts? What do we got? The two of cups. All right. We got some water showing. Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. What does this person think of you or what will they think of you? The nine of swords. Again, those swords, your air energy. Move you down, Libra. How will they feel about you deep down? What's going on in their emotions? Judgment. Sign of Scorpio. So a big decision. Maybe a second chance. How do they want to move forward with you? What are their plans? Yeah, see the three of swords in reverse. Some sort of recovery. Even if you're connecting with somebody and you're not completely broken up or on a break, you could have just had a falling out or a disagreement of some sort. It looks like this person wants to kind of revisit something, hash something out. What's in the hidden factors you don't see coming in? King of Swords. There's your energy again. You might even be connecting with another air sign. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. What is your advice from spirit, Libra? The Ten of Swords. So somebody's been hurt. Some sort of deception or just a really bad fight. I mean, the Ten of Swords, with those swords, that is our communication. It could have been some really nasty, mean words. Somebody got their, their feelings hurt. I feel like Spirit's telling you to let something die so that it can re be reborn with judgment and their emotions. What's the outcome though? How, how does this all play out? Yeah, the Eight of Cups in reverse. So an emotional connection that somebody either wants to return or fix something. Again, it doesn't have to be an ex. This could just be the energy of where you have some sort of falling out and then it, it, it gets revisited, right? That's what this feels like. Or for some of you, you are on a break from someone. They walked, you walked, something like that, but certainly a return. What you pull out of my deck, Libra, wanted to fall out? Yeah, five of cups in reverse, no longer concentrating on the past or what happened in the past. Not, you know, that five of cups in reverse is, you know, there was disappointment or I was missing you. There was a loss of some sort, but we're recovering. We're getting better. Somebody wants to clear the air for sure on something. All right. I'm going to use the light seers deck to clarify. What does Libra need to know, please? November. So sun, moon, rising, Venus for Libra. Look at that bottom of the deck. There you are. Major Arcana for Libra. You're saying hi to mom. Hi back, Libra. I hope you guys all had a great birthday, by the way. Just ending the Libra season and moving into Scorpio. All right. Libra, November 2022. What does Libra need to know, please? What's the main energy for November for Libra? All right. Let's check it out. Let's see what that Five of Cups in reverse is. We're going to take a look at that. I feel like that's your overall energy coming into the reading. Either you want this or someone else does. Why is this Five of Cups in reverse, that water energy, and the Eight of Wands in reverse? Somebody feels, um, you know, they want to overcome the sadness, the disappointment that has taken place. Somebody may have blocked somebody with, uh, even with communication with the Eight of Wands in reverse. But it's either you or the other person doesn't like it. And if you're already connecting with somebody, that eight of wands in reverse is just, I don't know how to communicate. The communication has come to a halt of some sort. But again, there's this energy of wanting to make that better. Let's look at your past. You have the page of wands in reverse. I think I said the page of swords when I first put down that card. It's actually the page of wands in reverse. So Leo, Sag, Aries. What's this about? Page of wands and the world. So there could have been a cut in communication for sure and then an ending, but also the page of wands in reverse, of course, we're not taking action when that card's in reverse. Somebody may have been quite immature. Page of wands in reverse, though, is some sort of bad news has come in as well, and it caused an ending. 
you know, but also the world is all about learning lessons too. Look at you. There you are, justice. I'm telling you, that's your major arcana. It's in the upright. Somebody offered an apology or they wanted to. Look, it's energy. You can lead a horse to water. Doesn't mean they're going to do it, but there is certainly energy there of you received some sort of bad news. Somebody wasn't communicating. There was an ending, but there was also some sort of lesson learned. And it's like we can close that. Let's start again and bring balance. Maybe an apology even with justice. Why is the three of cups the present energy? This is about and the three of wands. We've got a couple threes. So was somebody else involved? Doesn't have to be cheating. It could have been, you know, a jealous family member, a friend, something like that. But we definitely have this energy with the threes presently. Let's form an agreement, right? Those threes in the upright early. Like, okay, let's make something better and reconciling and bringing a lot of joy back to this connection. And with the three of wands, somebody has been waiting to do this. They've picked the direction and now they're just waiting for it to manifest. It's on your person's mind, Two of Cups with the Eight of Swords. What's this Two of Cups with the Eight of Swords on this person's mind? What is this? And the Hermit in Reverse. Yeah, I got I to gotta come back. Somebody's been ignoring someone or you took a break. You took a time out. Even if you're currently together, it's like you go sleep in the guest room and I'm going to take the bedroom. It's some sort of energy of there was a disagreement, a fallout of some sort. There's a person here and on their mind is a very strong connection with you, wanting to offer the emotion, wanting to be in this relationship. And that eight of swords is just stuck, right? They feel tied and bound to something. This is a comeback around. I'm looking at something here. This person, whoever, whomever's coming through this reading wants to make something better, whether that's to get back together or to overcome some sort of disagreement you have telling you it's all over the reading if you're completely single this person's been out of the dating scene for a while and they're ready to get back out there that's what this looks like and they're going to feel a very strong connection to you when you meet how does this person view you what do they think of you nine of swords with the knight of pentacles virgo taurus capricorn energy earth so they view you as um, having a headache, like this whole thing has just caused you a big fat headache or you've got a lot of anxiety and worry maybe about money as well. So if you're completely single, that's the impression you'll make is that you're very, very focused on your success and your stability with your career and your money, maybe some worries. If you're already connecting with somebody or you're on a break, they view you as just because it's causing some sort of anxiety to come around or, you know, trying to form some sort of an agreement and get on the same page. If you're still together, they're going to view you as having some anxiety and really just taking this slow. Like you're going to be super cautious with them. That's how they view it. What's going on in their feels? They've got judgment. So this is how they feel about you deep down. And the eight of cups in reverse. Y'all can't help the cards that come out. <clears throat> people, you know, I don't want my ex back or I don't want this person back. <clears throat> well, then maybe it's not your reading, you know, and you have free will, by the way. You don't have to, you know, get on the same page with this person. This is just the energy to show you what they're going to want throughout November and the most likely outcome. This is a second chance. This is repeating something. And again, if you haven't had a break or you're not broken up, this person emotionally, they're taking stock of a situation. They're really going within. They know it's an important decision to make. And they're returning. They're not ready to shut off their emotions. Maybe you ended it. Or maybe you're like, listen, we're not on the same page. We need to take some time. I want this. You want this. Somebody. There's a disagreement here. And this person is all about, well, I can't shut off my emotions. Uh, if you're not connecting with anyone, Libra, this person uh, is making big life decisions, right? Emotionally, they feel drawn and pulled, whether this is, you know, a, to buy a new home, um, a new career, something like that. And with the Eight of Cups in reverse, they've got some unfinished business, right? They're still connected to something and they're trying to make decisions to better their life. So this person will be very focused, very goal oriented. Now, moving forward, what's their plans? The Three of Swords in reverse. That's your Libra energy and the King of Wands. It might be a Leo Sagittarius. In this particular deck, it's a Leo. Somebody wanted to, you know, debate if the King of Wands is Leo the other day. I went back and forth in the comments. I was told he's an Aries. Uh, it depends on the deck, and it depends on what I'm feeling. It could be any fire sign. But in this deck, he's a Leo. Leo Sagittarius. 
Um, and by the way, it doesn't even have to be a fire sign. The, the king of wands just represents a lot of passion. This person is determined with that three of swords in reverse to overcome something. They disappointed you in some way. You broke up. Hell, maybe they did cheat. But with the King of Wands, he's in the upright. He's maturing, and he, you're going to know this person's going to communicate or let you know where they stand. And it's going to be quick, it's going to be passionate, and they're going to expect an answer. <laughs> uh, again, if you're completely single, this person is overcoming some sort of heartbreak or disappointment. That disappointment could even be with their finances. But this is a go-getter. This is somebody who's going to take action. He's not going to just sit back and let things you know, happen. He's going for it. All right, what's in the hidden factors that you don't see coming yet? King of Swords and the Eight of Pentacles. So more Earth, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. What's this King of Swords with the Eight of Pentacles? Why is this in the hidden factors? Oh, my God, King of Cups. Could y'all have any more people, Libra, in this reading? We've got three kings. So we've got a King of Wands, a King of Cups, a King of Swords. This King of Swords, I feel like it's your energy cutting somebody off. The King of Swords makes those decisions, very good communicator, but I just looked at the time, it was 11.11 11 on, on the video. Um, but the King of Swords, I think that's your energy. You're going to decide to put work and effort into someone, but there's also someone else here. Who's this King of Cups? Who's this King of Cups? The Two of Wands, yeah, a decision. You're going to be a little bit at a crossroads if you're still, if you want to be on the same page with somebody here, either if you want to take them back or if you want to move forward. Because you've also got somebody else that's interested. It could be somebody from work as well that's going to show you some sort of interest. So there's your options. I don't think it's the same person. I think it's two different people. And listen, for some of you, this King of Wands type energy, whether it's a fire sign or not, you've already been on the outs with them and you started talking to somebody since then and somebody, or somebody's been interested in you. Maybe you just recently started dating or communicating and then here comes this King of Wands back. There's definitely someone here who either wants to come back or wants to resolve something, both. You pick. That's, that's what this reading is showing. But you also have a King of Cups here in the Hidden Factors. Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. I think for some of you, it's somebody at work. So decision time. What's the advice from Spirit? You've got the Ten of Swords and the Hanged Man. Pisces energy. This is taking a minute. I mean, the Hanged Man is certainly seeing someone or a situation in a new perspective. But on that Ten of Swords, Spirit's trying to tell you, listen, you got to end something with someone. If somebody really, really hurt you and their, it, their energy is coming back around to fix it, Spirit saying, just take a minute, like don't rush. And that's how they're going to view you too. Being very cautious, very slow, very careful and really gaining knowledge on this, really taking it a look and make, make them wait a little bit. What's this king to be on? There you are. It came out again. The Empress, Libra energy, love yourself, nurture yourself. The Empress is all about abundance and forward movement. And there is definitely that here in this reading as far as love goes. You're just going to have to decide who you're going to take, the new, the old, or maybe, you know, you, again, you're having issues with somebody that you're talking to right now, and then somebody else comes into the picture somehow. It could even be a message, right? It doesn't have to be they're on one knee proposing, but you definitely have more than one energy showing here. What's the outcome? You've got an Eight of Cups in reverse and the Six of Wands Leo energy for me typically, but again, can be anyone. Yeah, see, somebody still wants victory and success here with you. And there's a return. I just can't cl close off the emotions, right? I can't, you know, I still feel that. I need to return to that. The eight is a lack of change when that eight of cups is in reverse. They haven't been able to change. They haven't been able to shut off their emotions. And there's a return. There's victory and success that they want. You also have attention that you're going to be getting from someone else in the meantime, We'll take a look more in the extended reading and see who shows up and how they truly feel, what's going on in their world. The Six of Wands, yeah, a new beginning. Ace of Wands, Fire, Leo, Sag, Aries. A couple offers. Again, this is going to be a month of do I really want to either take this person back or do I feel like we can get on the same page that we want a future? This person wants it. But again, you're going to have a decision to make between this energy and then somebody new that's going to offer you something. And I think it's somebody that you probably work with. The outcome shows a return. It shows success in your love life, a lot of passion and a new beginning. 
with that Ace of Wands if you want it, Libra. All right, let's talk about the November giveaway. So every month I do a giveaway. This uh, month it's going to be an Amazon $100 gift card. I thought that would be cool for the holidays. It's just a little thing I do every month, a different type of giveaway to say thank you and show my appreciation. I really appreciate all the support that y'all have given me throughout the years. And uh, I just want to give back. I thought it would be good for the holidays. I'll go live sometime around November 17th. Um, I will again decide here very, very shortly, and I will go ahead and post that on my community page the exact day and time. I'm going to go live on YouTube, just like I do every month, and I'm going to do randomly pick the winner of that Amazon gift card. So like, share, subscribe. All you have to do to enter the contest is comment for me below that you want to be part of the drawing, and you're in. And I will randomly just pick someone. Um, but again, I appreciate your support. If you think anybody could benefit from the video, feel free to share it with them as well. And um, I love you hard, Libra. Love me hard back. I hope you all have a great few days until we meet again. And uh, we'll talk soon. Take care.